Hello students, this time we are going to learn balance C or up thrust. What is that? I just gave you some idea previously about the floating body, how it sinks and how it will float. But why it will float, that is the reason or that is a main cause of up thrust. Now see that, in this case, we have a body and that is floating so i make it let me make it complete float yeah it is completely floating over here maybe a light body very light body on water that is completely floating over here so why it is floating cause the water oops the color is same so let me change it so why it is floating cause the force of water in upward is acting on it that is the reason it is floating and that upward force is called a thrust so for a submerged body or a floating body we can say the upward force exerted by the liquid in which the body is uh, submerged or floating that is known as a thrust or balance now see, this balance is depending upon the density of two things, that is the fluid and the density of this object. See, in here the densities are given. As you can see, these two are the given densities. This is the density of fluid and this is the density of object. Let me write it over here. This is the density of object and this is the density of fluid. All right. So, if I change that density one by one, see what will change happen in this system. First of all, I am going to make that body very light. Very light means what? The density is very less. Whenever the density is very less, the body becomes very light. And how it is related? We know that mass by volume equal to rho. Without changing the volume, if you decrease the mass, that means you are making the body lighter. That means the density will be also less. Same thing is happening over here as you can see. So, I make the density of the body 0 0.1. And the density of fluid is say about, um, let me make it 2.5. Okay. So, no difference in here. But... If I increase the density of body, what is happening actually? The mass or I should say the weight of the body is increasing. That is why it is getting down. And see, whenever I will make the density of the body 2.5, it is totally down in that fluid. Now what is happening over here? Fluid is giving some up thrust. And that is the force by fluid. But this body has some weight which is working downward. So, if this force of fluid is greater written than the weight of body, then this thing will happen. It will completely float out. But, in this case, the force of body, sorry, the force of liquid that is nothing but the up thrust is approximately equal to the weight of the body and that is why it is flowing somewhere at the middle of this what if the weight of the body is greater greater than the up thrust then let me increase the weight that means i'm increase the increasing the object's density so as you can see this completely down because it is very much heavier even the up thrust can't stop that in some point so it is completely sink so that is the simulation of this thing now let me give you a mathematical idea behind this thing for that i need a submerged body and if i need that one i need to fix it at 2.5 yes i think it is going to happen now yeah so we got that at as a submerged body as you can see is it floating upward uh, we don't need that too much upward uh, we just setting it at 2.7 let me see um, more please 
3.1 it should be in 3.1 yeah now that's nice so as it is submerged i mean it is completely under the water right now but still floating at some point so what is happening over here the force uh, we should say the pressure is acting in here as well as some water or the fluid is giving the pressure on the upper side as well so you can think as the forces this is f2 force this is f1 force all right so we know the formula p equal to h d g where d and g is completely same that's not going to be changed only the change will happen in h let from the surface to a certain depth it is h1 and the, from the surface to the lower depth it is h2 so the first formula should be p1 that is equal to in here it is p1 that is equal to h1 dg now coming to the second formula that is p2 p2 should be equal to h2 dg what is the change of pressure now which one is greater as the body is getting a little bit flotation inside of that fluid so obviously p2 is able to take it up so p2 is greater i am assuming that is minus by p1 and that is equal to h2 minus h1 t g Achha. all of us know that that pressure is equal to force by area so instead of p we can write f2 by a p2 and p1 is f 1 by a that is equal to h2 minus h1 divided into dg finally what is the change of pressure sorry what is the change of force that is f2 minus f1 is equal to h2 minus h1 a d g now remember a d g this thing is the extra part but in here h2 minus h1 is nothing but the height of that object so instead of that h2 minus h1 we know that if i multiply the height with area it will give you volume so instead of this two we can write volume v dg so what is f2 minus f1 now finally we got that f2 minus f1 is equal to volume into density into the gravitational acceleration Achha. i think up to this one it is clear now just remember we got f2 minus f1 equal to v dg i'm going to erase all the things and i will show you a last thing from here so f2 minus f1 equal to v d g remember that d is the density now we know that density equal to mass by volume so whenever you will put that over here the volume and volume gonna cancel each other and i told you due to the force of the weight it is sinking down so what you have to provide you have to provide same amount of up thrust of the body's weight to make that float that is the law of flotation i hope this part is clear in next part we will discuss about the archimedes principle so till then bye bye